Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick review of a brand new eyeshadow primer to hit the drugstore shelves from the brand MUA. I recently talked about this when I did a review of some brand new palettes from that same brand. These are exclusive to CVS and this primer retails for $10. However, it's I've for the past two weeks, the brand MUA has been on, on sale on the CVS website, which is probably a lot of people's best bet for finding this brand because it's not reliably in every CVS store. So eight bucks right now on the CVS website. And I was immediately drawn to it when I saw these eyeshadow palettes because it looks like a flesh toned eyeshadow base, which is really harder to find in the drugstore realm. Max Painterly Paint Pot is kind of the go-to or Soft Ochre, depending on your skin tone, are kind of the go-to, but they're they can be a little pricier, although they do get the job done. So I've kind of been in search for the perfect eyeshadow base that kind of replicates the effect of evening out the skin tone while also amplifying the shadow intensity and helping it last all day. I've been trying to find a quality drugstore primer that will do all those things. And so I'm happy to say that and this one from MUA is probably the closest I have found. I think you'll be able to see from the before and afters, it really preserves eyeshadow throughout the day. There's really minimal fading, no creasing that I experienced and all I was wearing was this and then I put my eyeshadows immediately over top. This was over a, the course of a 12 hour work day and so I certainly didn't take it easy while testing this guy and so I was really happy with those results. Really that's the review in a nutshell. It's very smooth, very creamy, probably more hydrating than any other similar drugstore primer that I've encountered and to give you an example of what those are, I actually have them to talk about here. So first I wanna talk about what is maybe the most comparable, at least in terms of packaging and function, is Milani's eyeshadow primer. This retails for about six bucks. Packaging, very, very similar. I would say Milani's has a little bit more of a mousse texture and doesn't quite provide the same amount of opacity. It looks like it has some pigment, but then it really shears out and doesn't stay quite as tacky as long as the MUA does, which I find is really helpful when you want to um, really make eyeshadows. It's kind of like your eyeshadows have the same effect as if you're applying them wet, I find, when you have a tackier base. And so the MUA stays a little bit tackier or for longer than the Milani does. The other two bases that are comparable are from NYX. The first one I want to talk about is very well known, and both of these retail for, I think, six or seven dollars a piece. They're the same price. Either way. First one is probably most no well known. It's the eyeshadow base in the shade skin tone. There's also one in white. I have both of them, have tried both of them, and I, frankly, I'd never put these on when I know I need my shadows to last for an extended period of time because these crease on me. I know others have had great success with them, but for some reason, this formula and my eyelids just don't mix. So naturally, I will pick the MUA over uh, the potted form of this eyeshadow base from NYX. However, NYX also does the HD eyeshadow eyeshadow base, which I have talked about and has actually been in a favorites video. And so primary difference, well, besides packaging, this one also includes a doe foot applicator. I like to apply this directly to my eyelid and then go in and blend with a brush or a finger. Primary difference though, I would say, is that the NYX kind of comes off as a, uh, a more airy, moussey cream, especially compared to the MUA, which is definitely more of a thicker cream. It's a little bit more of a hydrating cream. And I know a lot, when I put this in my favorites video, a lot of you said that you didn't, you didn't experience as the same great results I did in terms of lasting power. So the MUA might be a good alternative for those of you that that happened to. Otherwise, the other difference is that the MUA just provides a little bit extra coverage, a little bit more opacity if you're really looking to even out your skin tone because of any uneven pigmentation that you don't want affecting how your eyeshadow appears or if you just have veins. Like I personally, I mean, all of our eyelids are pretty thin, but mine in particular are kind of veiny as as weird and gross as that may sound it's the truth and so I tend to look for more opaque eyeshadow bases to really even that canvas and so I do think if that's what you're after the MUA is a better bet than the NYX but like I said this has been in a favorites video and so it's definitely I'm not I'm not knocking it but I do know that a few people had issues with it so if that's the case I would recommend hopping on this bandwagon because for 10 most likely eight if you have a coupon if you're in store or like I said it's eight dollars right now online you can find this for a pretty good price and it will certainly be a primer I continue to reach for when I just want something quick basic that I know will keep my eyeshadow on all day won't crease won't fade and I know will intensify those colors especially as we're headed into winter and even those with 
combination or oily skin can start to see some dryness around the eye area, which means excess fine lines, things like that. It can't hurt to have a more hydrating concealer, but also an eyeshadow base. So this might also come in handy just for the winter season alone or for those that just generally have a dry eye area. So that's all I have to say on this eyeshadow base. Overall, two thumbs up. Highly recommend you check it out if you are looking for an opaque long-lasting affordable eyeshadow base this is one to keep your eye on thank you guys so much for watching really hope you enjoyed learning more about this product don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye